Good morning, fifth grade and fourth grade. Today you will be beginning your dragon sumi painting. Sumi means ink and e means painting. And the first step is for your table to get a piece of paper from the back island. And then you're going to need a container of water filled a little bit less than halfway, a little small piece of ink, a food a, this brush, and a hake, this one, which you'll start with. And you'll dunk, have one person dip it into the water, rubbing off or tickling the bristles to get the excess water off. And then just dipping the very corner of the hake into the black ink and making your wash. So it will appear very dark, but it should turn out as a gray. And the next step is to create your dragon's body. And you'll do that by getting rid of any excess water. Once the wash has been made, everyone can use it. If it's too light like mine is, then you can make it just slightly darker by dipping the corner in one more time and rinsing off the extra. And then just going over your artwork again with that wash that you've created. That's great. So the first step, creating the body and your body may be in a different direction or a different shape than mine. So I just am adding, this is gonna be my head, here's my body, and once you've completed that, you can wash your hake because you will no longer need it. The next step is as you look at your body, you are going to want to add some scales to the tops. And that will probably be your next step and your last step because you have a shortened class today. So I just begin by adding some triangular like marks. And you should ideally be able to just, and if it starts to bleed like mine, don't worry about it. You can fix that in a moment. So you can either kind of paint them as you go, or you should be able to just press down with your fude. And depending, some students like to make them really big, some like to make them a little bit smaller, some are more spaced out. This is what's fun about art, everyone's artwork turns out differently. So I'm just pressing down with the tip of my brush and it's forming that point. When you're part way through, you might need to reload your brush slightly. So these are just the scales on the top of the dragon's body. And again, I'm just pressing down. If you do get finished with this and there happens to be more time, I would say the next step for you could be your legs. Next week we will add the head, the face, the wings, and the scales to the body. And again, if yours happens to bleed a little bit, you can just take your hake and just blend it into your body color. No big deal. Same thing up here. This paper has a lot of tooth to it, which makes it really convenient for um, changing and manipulating errors. I make mistakes in my artwork all the time and it's no big deal. So these would be your first two steps. Your next step I would say would be to add your legs if you have time for it and that would be just by 
creating a seven in the front. You can see my paper is still a little bit too wet and a Z in the back. And then allowing that to complete. Um, and then you can put your feet on below. There are some examples on the wall and on this paper also. So, yep, first your body, then your scales, then the feet. Enjoy.